Hey everyone, it's me Desiree Marie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about interlocking your hair and retwisting your hair. Interlocking your locks and retwisting your locks. Which one is better? Is there one that is better than the other? I want to pretty much break down my experiences and share it with you all if you are interested in learning what the pros are for each method and what the cons are for each method. I would love to share my experience with you. If you guys don't know, I have been growing locks for three years now and I generally maintain my roots through retwisting. I've retwisted since the very beginning of my lock journey because it's something really easy for me to do um, it's like the easiest thing I can just get up um, you know put a little product in my roots and just twist it use a few clips boom boom bam you know it's a really really easy way to maintain your roots and it's safe for me it feels good for me so I've always done it I didn't know too much about interlocking until just recently um, so I kind of sta stayed away from interlocking for a while because I just believed a lot of the, uh, I guess, rumors that interlocking is bad. Interlocking generally uh, thins out your, your locks and so forth. So there is truth to some extent, but when I started, when I decided to go ahead and interlock my hair, my mom interlocked my hair for the first time and I recorded it all here on camera for you all. So if you are interested in seeing that video, I will link it up above and in the description box so you can check it out later. But um, she interlocked my locks for the first time and through that I learned something new about interlocks and I, I, I kind of want to share. I want to share the pros and the cons for each side, retwisting and interlocking your roots. Which one is better? Is there one that trumps the other? Um, my experiences with both uh, roots uh, maintenance techniques, I guess you could say. So if you're interested in hearing about my journey and how my hair has uh, improved or not improved by both methods, then stay tuned. Okay, so I will start with retwisting because I'm more versed with retwisting. I've done, I've retwisted my own hair for over three years now, so I can kind of start off with that and give you guys that. And then we will talk about the interlocking, how my hair has um, liked or not liked the interlocks. So with retwisting, retwisting is really, really easy for me, like I said. It's a very um, beginner-friendly way to maintain your roots, um, especially if you are doing everything from home. For me, I've always done everything from home. I have never gone to a stylist for my locks. I do want to in the future, sometime, but as of right now, I do everything from home to cut the cost and also to make sure that my hair comes out the way that I want it because you know I kind of have a little bit of trust issues when it comes to hair <laughs> but um, I find that doing my hair from home is very cost efficient and to be honest I like it I like doing my own hair I find it to be very fun self-care you know type of time that I get to invest in myself and learn my own natural hair so I love doing it myself. Retwisting is very easy. Um, you can do it with clips. You could do it without clips. You don't need special tools. All you need to do is just have a little patience a little, uh, uh, and a little time and you can just do it yourself. And after maybe an hour or half an hour, you got yourself some retwisted locks. Okay, so it's really, really easy to start begin, beginner friendly. Even if you don't know a whole lot about doing hair, styling hair, you can do it. <laughs> Anyone can retwist locks. Another thing I love about retwisting my roots is that I feel like the retwisting is more organic and more, it just helps me to keep the flow of my hair, I guess you could say. So I don't feel like my locks are stifled in any way. It just feels very natural and very organic. Um, so retwisting has helped me to um, maintain my hair in this way. It also allows for my hair to fill out and expand and mature and become a lock because as you know, the roots are your newest, you know, your, your new growth. So that needs to mature and become so that it can then, you know, grow out to become locks, you know, mature locks. 
So I find that retwisting um, helps to keep the same shape that I want throughout the entire, um, my entire head and helps me to stay in a mindset that I, I feel at peace with what I'm doing at the same time. So retwisting is great for that. Um, like I said, you don't need tools, you don't need clips, but when you do use them, it's very, very simple and easy. You don't even need clips, really. You can also do, uh, you can retwist into braids, retwist into two-strand twists. There's so many ways that you can do it. Um, so I really have been enjoying retwisting in that way. When I first started retwisting, when I did my first retwist ever with my locks it took me almost the entire day because I did not know anything I didn't know anything I didn't know what I was doing all right guys it is now a little after 4 p.m. and I am finally done with my first retwist my hands are tired of retwisting I'm hungry I want to go and get something to drink but it's well worth it so of course in the beginning it's going to take you some time to learn to you know get adjusted and to, to get accustomed to retwisting your own hair but as you get into the swing of things as you get used to the whole entire technique and all of that stuff you'll be cool and after a while it will only take you maybe an hour half an hour so right now it takes me about an hour to retwist my whole entire head because you know, sometimes I have to deal with certain issues like popping the locks and, and making sure that the hairs are in the right places. So, yeah. <laughs> now, are there any cons for retwisting? Well, I could say that there are cons when you retwist too much or when you retwist too tightly. So, I'm sure you have seen maybe pictures, maybe you know someone whose edges are like very scarce and they have locks they have locks but their edges are very scarce and they always do tight hairstyles when you do these certain types of things you will end up with thinner locks locks that break locks that are brittle and very um very weak and limp so when you retwist too much it does go against your healthy hair journey and of course when you retwist too tightly that goes against your healthy hair journey as well. It also affects your scalp. It could also lead to scalp problems and issues. So when you do it too tightly, it does go against your healthy hair journey as well as when you do it too much. So that would be the only con that I can think of as far as retwisting is concerned. Retwisting is the most natural way that you can maintain your locks. Um, so yeah, I recommend Anyone who does not know anything about maintaining their roots and they want to do it themselves, start with retwisting. It's very, very easy and simple. However, with retwisting, you do have to be mindful of your hair texture. And when I say that, I'm mostly talking towards the those of you who are baby locks, who have starter locks, and you are in like the first few weeks, the first few months, and your hair is more of a looser texture, retwisting could be a little bit more difficult for you to maintain your roots simply because your hair texture is looser. And so it may not hold the roots the way that you wish for um, your retwisting or your retightening to you know, hold your roots together and keep a neat style. So that's where the other method that i will speak about now kind of comes into play and that is interlocking so so many of you guys have asked me okay i have loose hair and it's not staying retwisted my retwists never stay and i have hair that's constantly coming out of the locks one way that you can correct that is by interlocking your hair instead of retwisting. Interlocking is something that I just got into. Like I said, my mom has recently done uh, my first interlocking installation, I guess you could call it. And I find that it's not as scary as many people make it out to be. Obviously, you have to know what you're doing if you are doing it yourself. You have to use the right tools or you have to find the right professional to help you to interlock your roots. So if you are using the wrong tool, if you do not know what you're doing, you could risk having holes at the base, at the base of your locks, which will end up becoming weak locks and maybe even snap off. So obviously this is a very high risk 
technique you want to use the right tools okay so if you're not using the right tools you could be you could be putting yourself at risk to weak locks um damaged locks and so forth however interlocking is not difficult at all anyone can learn it you just need a lot of time and patience um, my mom she used what is called a dreadlock um, interlocking needle and we found it at our local beauty supply store it was like one dollar and 99 cents not very expensive at all many people use safety pins many people use crochet needles I say do what works for you but when you start off you definitely want to start off with an actual tool and not start off doing anything risky okay so she used a needle and what she did was she um, interlocked my roots through what is called the four the four pass method or something like that. She passed the interlock needle through my roots four times in, in order to bind the roots together and solidify the roots and bring all of the straight hairs together into its, its respective locks, right? So that was the way that she did it and many people do two passes instead of four. There are different ways that you can try um, interlocking your roots. I say go, like I said, go for what works for you. Um, the four passes, however, I have heard a lot from you all saying that that particular technique does lead to more tighter locks, more um, thinner locks. So you want to find out what works for you and you want to you want to know what you're doing right off the jump but there are many benefits to interlocking your locks and one of them the main one being that it keeps your roots cleaner for a longer period of time when i'm saying cleaner i don't want nobody to come for me okay i'm talking about it keeps your roots together it keeps your retwisting or your retightening for a longer period of time because the truth is many of us have active lifestyles you know we work out a little bit and <laughs> um a lot of us also maybe work in, in work environments that require us to have a certain aesthetic or maybe a lot of us wash our hair in, in a little bit more than the average person with locks so people in those particular categories will be more mindful of having um you know stray hairs or just having a neat style at all times so interlocking is great for that um as i work out maybe two three times a week i have seen that interlocking has kept my roots together whereas my retwist by now it would have been unraveled and would not have lasted at all it probably would by now look like i did not retwist my locks at all um also when i washed my hair with my freshly interlocked roots i felt more in control with my hair and that's not to say that i never feel in control when i'm washing my hair but the the fact that i was able to really get in and have easier access to the roots really put me in a, in a more peaceful mindset and in a more it, I, I just really felt like i got a good wash because i had easy access to my roots and it was just a lot easier for some reason and with interlocking i find that interlocking is great for all types of hair so if you have a looser curl pattern or a tight hair curl pattern interlocking will will it's guaranteed that it will keep your roots together and neat um, because of the fact that it is like a binding technique that keeps the hair so as i even touch my interlocked roots the roots feel like they were braided as you know when you braid braids more so keep the hairs together more than just simply twisting so when you're interlocking it seems as, if, as though you are braiding what you will find is that your roots feel like they are braided however there are cons for interlocking i'm not going to sit here and act like there are no cons even though i did enjoy my experience very well so the main con with interlocking is that it can potentially thin out your locks and I'll let you know exactly how it can do so. So if you are interlocking too tightly, 
or if you are using too, if you are doing too many passes with your interlocking tool through your hair, you will end up with locks that become thin and they don't have a consistent shape throughout the length of your locks because of the way that you are interlocking every so often. So your hair will show a pattern of inconsistencies because of how tight you are interlocking your locks maybe every few months. Your hair shows exactly what you do to it and it will tell a story and you do not want your story to be where your locks are weakening in the middle and they're flourishing at the ends or at the roots and so forth. So um, when you do it too tight, you don't want to, you definitely don't want to do it too tight. When you interlock, you want to make sure that you leave a little space at the roots so that you can have space to grow because obviously your hair is going to rough up just a bit, but you want enough space where your locks can grow and naturally expand and become the full lock that it's supposed to instead of feeling more constricted and boxed in. Also, interlocking is very difficult. So it does require even more patience while learning. So I would not recommend you just you know, look at one video on YouTube on how to interlock and you just you do it yourself. I would recommend you looking at more videos, getting more insight about how to do it. Maybe even visit a professional for your very first retightening. And as you get more uh, skilled at interlocking and more confident in it, then you try it on, on your own. But it's a very difficult technique to learn. Everyone can learn it, but it is very difficult and it is difficult to find a professional that does it the right way because many professionals do it more tightly and you do not want to end up with tight interlocks uh, for the reasons why I mentioned, uh, for the reasons that I mentioned earlier in the video. So yeah guys, those are my experiences with both sides, interlocks and retwists. Interlocking my locks and retwisting my locks. Is one better than the other? I would say no to each his own. So if you have a certain hair type that is better with interlocks, then interlocking is better for you. However, retwisting may be a better bet for other people as well. Me personally, I don't see any one better than the other. However, I do feel more safe and secure with retwisting my roots. So moving forward, will I interlock my locks to keep my roots together? The answer is not always. I will interlock once a year. I will not do it every month. <laughs> you definitely don't want to do it every month. I will be maintaining my roots throughout the year, however, with retwisting, with palm rolling, I guess you guys would say as well. So that is pretty much my experience. But what is your experience? Do you retwist your locks or do you interlock your locks? I would love to know your experience, your stories. Drop them down below. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate your genuine love and support here on this channel. If you are not subscribed, I want to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe because there will be so many, many more videos like this to come. We upload almost every day. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Later guys, bye.